Uh, I mean, from the beginning, it's first of all, it's a beautiful track. It's like one of the most classic downhills on the World Cup tour, I think. And you know, it's just one of those places where you can be happy in the start, even when it's the weather isn't the best. It's just a good place to go. You come out of the start. It's kind of an awkward side hill start, so you really have to kind of adapt your pushing technique to get across the side hill, but still carrying a lot of speed. And you go into a quick two turns, off a jump right away, down into a hole in the compression, up another jump in the air, sharp turn to the left, off another, you know, 30, 40 meter jump, into another compression, onto a jump onto the flats. So just in the first, like, you know, 20, 25 seconds, it's, I think it's one of the funnest funnest sections of a course I think one of my favorites on the whole World Cup and then you're just you know ripping across the flats lots of bumps lots of terrain you get into another technical section and this is where uh, you know you get a lot of sharp turns it's flat you have to really keep a low position and uh, a couple small smaller well small jumps a couple medium sized jumps before the famous long long tucking section before the camels and that's we have to be careful that you're not thinking about the camels already before the jumps before it because that's what happened to me yesterday I think it's the camel jumps are such a predominant part of this course that a lot of people you know you get psyched out by it and you're thinking about it already like three or four hundred meters above the course where there's other stuff to ski and you have to be you know, really focused for that stuff so yesterday that, that was me I was all over the place leading up to the camels and then I didn't even make it over the camel jumps so today I really kept my focus on right, right where it was in the course, did a good jump uh, leading into the long straightaway before, before the camels, and then you're you know you have like five to eight seconds, just literally you're going like 120 kilometers an hour, and you just literally have time to think about the camel jump that's coming up. And uh, you know this year it's a little bit smaller than normal, probably about 50 meters right now, but it's been up to 70. Some guys have flown even 80 meters off this thing, so it can be pretty intimidating. You're coming down on it, it looks like. Looks like a freestyle jump when you're coming up to it, but it's it's a smooth takeoff, and you just have to trust yourself to go off. You get winded as you go off. All of a sudden, you're 15, 20 feet high in the air, and then two seconds later, you touch the ground and you're tucking again. So it's it's short and sweet when you're in the air, but it's uh, it's pretty you know it's a lot of anticipation when you're coming up to it. And then uh, after that, you have another long tucking section, a bit of terrain, and then you come into another really interesting part of this uh, course called the chess lot which is uh, a series of really sort of cranking hard turns across the hill but with unbelievable terrain like literally like a motocross track and uh, you literally have to time the bumps perfectly because a it's fast to time the bumps perfectly but b you can really hurt yourself if you don't because you can land on an uphill of the next bump or overshoot another one and uh, completely mess up your line or, or hurt yourself or go out so it's it's an area where you really need to focus but it's extremely fun when you nail it and extremely painful when you don't so it's one of those risk and reward sections of the course and after that you come through a big compression big turn on the flats and then it's basically a highway to the finish line big jump right at the end so you don't lose your focus but uh that's pretty much the course one of the funnest on the tour